The Mid-Atlantic region of the United States experiences every season and withstands every kind of hazardous weather, from extreme heat to bitter cold, from flash floods to droughts, and severe storms such as hurricanes, blizzards, and tornadoes. You need to be able to plan for severe weather and work around it. To do that, you need accurate weather forecasts and warnings. You can get your weather warnings through every TV, radio, and smartphone. But have you ever wondered where they come from and how they're made? For the Mid-Atlantic area, it starts here, the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Sterling, Virginia. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, the Sterling office maintains a diligent weather vigil that covers an area of nearly 10 million people, encompassing most of Maryland, the District of Columbia, and parts of Virginia and West Virginia. When dangerous weather threatens, the Sterling office sees the signs ahead of time and produces advance weather warnings that are delivered to the public through the broadcasters on TV, radio, text alerting services, and other methods. The warnings provide the advance notice people need and critical information to prepare, react, and head to safety. Taking full advantage of cutting edge technology and specialized expertise, today's National Weather Service creates a weather database with hour-by-hour -hour forecast information for every point in the country. This provides the infrastructure to provide highly accurate forecasts and warnings for every impending weather phenomenon. But how are the forecasts and warnings made? We receive satellite, radar, computer model information here at our forecast center, and our trained staff of 28 people take a look at that information, analyze it, and then develop forecast and warning services. We're monitoring the weather 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. We're looking at the observations, we're looking at the computer models, the satellite data, and what we're doing is making sure that if uh, hazardous weather does occur, that you're gonna be notified through one of our warnings. So the Weather Service uses a watch warning system to alert the public for any weather threat, if a hurricane or tornado, no matter what it is, it's the watch warning system. And it's much like a traffic light. If you have a watch it's saying there's the potential of something, it allows people to plan. Um, whereas if you move up to the red light, that's the warning. It's saying this is on our doorstep, this is happening, you better take action to protect yourself. So in order to make sure the forecasters have what they need 24-7, 365 days a year, Obviously all the, uh, the gear and the equipment that we have here has to work as well, so that we have to have t technicians that are ready to go at a moment's notice to fix the radar no matter when it goes down. So when you get a watch or a warning across however you get it, know that it comes from skilled forecasters that are constantly watching the weather and they're trying to reach out and let you know that something dangerous or deadly is coming so that you can keep yourself and your family safe. When our forecasters see that dangerous weather is approaching, warnings are issued to give advance notice of the impending threat. People can then take action to protect themselves and their families from weather disasters. We also maintain strong relationships within our communities to make sure the weather information we provide meets their needs. So the next time a weather alert interrupts your TV show or a weather icon pops up on your phone, keep in mind that these warnings are the carefully constructed result of ongoing, meticulous work from expert forecasters backed up by state-of-the-art technology. If you see dangerous weather, let us know with a phone call, email, or through social media. Your information will add important local details that will help improve those warnings. The vision of the National Weather Service is to create a weather-ready nation, prepared and resilient in the face of extreme weather.